is the first time the troop carrier has been off road. Am I right? Yes, correct. So we're just going to do a little walk around because it's like the most requested thing. I get questions every day about this so far. So it's not finished building yet. I thought we'd just go through what's done so far because it's pretty cool. So what wheels are we talking? We are alloyed brutes. So they're not method. They're not method. Everyone <laughs> thinks they are. I think they're a knockoff. They're alloyed brutes. Alloyed brutes. You got the auto muffin. And they're a 37 inch Maxxis Razor. Yeah, the old Maxxis Razors. Strike again. <laughs> so underneath, you had the pre rego core conversion kit installed. Yeah, 3.9 GVM upgrade. 3.9 3. GVM. Yeah, 3.9 GVM coil all pre rego Yeah, all red four inch with the I've upgraded the front to five inch. <laughs> Every inch counts, you know? Yeah. I did that just to level it out a bit more. behind the rear front doors. It is unreal, looks unbelievable. Oh man, the boys from Fat Pipes absolutely killed it. Yeah, so it's a full custom exhibit. Full custom exhibit. Yeah. You've done anything to the body? Nothing yet, hey. Oh, so tinted windows. It's got tinted windows, it's got bar work coming, but as most people building cars know at the moment, everything's taking forever, oh, so. so it's a work in progress. But we've had some extreme engine mods perform. So Shane at Project's been working on this for a while. He's actually had it for ages. That's why we haven't had it. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's perfecting a little bit of a tune. Like, what would you call the tune? Like? It's a multi-map tune. So we've gone with, I think there's six tunes. So he hasn't made the sticky yet. But you pretty much got, all the way left is aggressive, backs off, bit less aggressive, eco, you got your old lumpy cam, and pretty much launch control. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six tunes. I actually don't think there's that many trophies with this sort of level of engine mods, because have you done turbo or anything? No, so I've just done four inch Safari Armac into a in-house fab um, airbox. And then I've got GSL um, in four inch intake to the turbo and then four inch twin exhaust. And then I've done plus 30 injectors. Um, and a 1600 MPC clutch. Oh, you did the clutch as well, hey? Yeah, have to to hold the power. Yeah, it's And pretty... it's running 170 kilowatts on factory turbo. And I think it's about 700 newton meters, uh, 600 newton meters. You've got to get things right, Mike. Yeah, it doesn't have quite the power of Max at the moment, no, but I, it's probably I, not a bad thing because he blew his gearbox up. <laughs> I'm going to go front mount in a cooler with a G turbo. I think it's a 350 G turbo, but I'm going to give it a bit because I'm spending way too much money on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have uh, hit the budget limit for now. So we call this Cruiser Brain. Anyone that buys a brand new Cruiser ends up with Cruiser Brain. You just keep spending money. Alright, so there's the sheet. This is on 37s too. So 165.4 kilowatts is the, the angry, aggressive tune, sooty boy tune with 598.5 newton meters. And then that, they all back off. So yeah. stage one, stage two, stage three. So basically more than enough, like. Oh, way more. See, I've driven Max and Max is way too angry. Yeah, like Max is extreme. And the other reason I'm doing front mount and G turbo is so I can have this sort of power, but comfortable like right now the turbo is pretty much on its max like yeah. you can't get any more air yeah and then the inner cooler front mounts to keep it nice and cold uh, oh yeah we did the you did the air tank hey yeah, the so we got tank. on board air already Onboard air straight from Max's garage. Same kit me and Mac have, and yours is actually all ready to rumble, eh? Yep. Oh, you need a cover, but yeah, definitely need a cover. <laughs> and he's got the 200 pound pressure switch. Yeah, Jamin, has, you have the airbags too for yeah, for towing, because it's also a work rig. Tows a trailer, pretty big trailer every every day. Inside, you have got this bed set up. 
Actually, you got the seats in at the moment. Yeah, I've got the seats in. Because he's carrying four people around. You might have seen Scott putting the fat arm out. Absolutely loving it. So it's pretty much stocking. Oh, you got the uh, screen in though. Yeah, I've got the Kenwood 10.1 inch screen in. The red R gauge will show EGR's boost and I went for the oil pressure as well. What are these little covers up here for? Um, oh, I've got so many people asking about the covers, and especially this quarter glass one. So they're from so, uh, Australian company from Solar Shades. Yeah. And they're just handmade, I think, Four an older couple. No, for every car. Oh. Yeah. Because it keeps you, out the heat. You've got every window sorted. Yeah, every window with one, just to keep out the heat because it's just all panel and glass, so it gets really hot during the day. Yeah. You can see the quality of this screen. What's this screen? Uh, it's Kenwood, so their new 10.1 inch. Yeah. It's pretty responsive, similar to a phone. It's got Apple CarPlay. So that made a big difference because, as you know, the troop carriers are fairly behind in tech. Oh, so behind or everything in, in general. Anything, yeah. 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 Pretty much everything else. Bloody cup holder. Yeah, that's an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> got yeah. the banner on, representing the boys. Of course, for the boys. So the troopies come twin lock, so you haven't actually really had to upgrade the lockers or anything. Because that's one thing they do come standard, so there's no point upgrading if you already got them. They're electronic, hey? Yep. Electronic lockers. Yeah, so all my shocks are 2.5 remote res alphas, the J-Max series. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing is. And you got the long range tank, hey? Yeah, so they come, you can opt out to have it to make them a bit cheaper, but yeah, so I think one's 80, I think that's 90. Maybe both 80s. It's kind of necessary up here. Yeah, oh, in this thing, yeah. And I only get about, with the 37s, I only get about 500 to a tank. So, so the fuel economy is down a little bit, but you got to remember how much <laughs> modifications done to the yeah, motor. Wheel size, turned, yeah. it's pretty crazy different. So it's actually not much worse than mine. Well, how big is your fuel tank? 80 and 90. Oh, yeah, it's a bit worse than mine. <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll do videos coming up, we'll test out suspension flex and how the troop carry actually goes because you get a lot of people say that they're really tippy. This one has had a huge track correction. That was one of them. Yeah, and we, we are running, I've run, I've got a track correction and neck 50s the whole way around. So I think I'm running from factory panel about 100 mil poke. With the track correction and the big offset wheels, the stance of the thing is literally 100 mil either side, is it? Yeah wider than a stock one yeah. so it does look floaty hey? yeah compared to like my car you know it's, it's so tall like it's hard to explain how big it is on camera <laughs> but it's it very feel big as bad driving like the boys were like worried it was feeling looking tippy like but it wasn't it feels safe yeah. well that's that's what matters and when you were going over those rocks before it did it looked fine it looked fine yeah, and then and sand and when you tipped into the sand hill did it feel right no it's all fine yeah all good yeah, yeah. yeah. all right I'll do some more on this, obviously heaps yeah, more to come. About it. We'll write some shit down next yeah. Time. Let me know what you want, want to know, but that's basic that's the basic walk around of the crew. We probably should say it's a 2021. 2022. 2022. Yeah, January. 2022. Model GXL. GXL. 78 series. Really, actually really love seeing both cruisers together, both the same colour. Not for long, Max doing his black, so you know, you know what Max like. If you want any more videos of this thing, just click the link up here and um Apart from that, see you next time. <laughs>